it's one of those wibbly wobbly timey wimey sort of deals. Not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. Greetings demons and welcome to another Fortnite discussion video so soon after the last one and essentially the same topic. So as I mentioned in yesterday's video, we're getting a Doctor Who collab. It was very much questionable, it was a lot of question marks around it as of yesterday. As of today, we not only have had an item from this new collaboration decrypted, but we also have a brand new image as well as a code for the aforementioned item. And uh, yeah, it is official. We are getting a Fortnite creative experience relating to Doctor Who. There may be more, that might be it. Yeah, it's hard to say right now, but essentially we got a spray decrypted, the TARDIS spray or the spray doctor as it seems to be called internally currently. And it is just the TARDIS on the background that we saw before. It looks pretty nice. It looks pretty clean. Um, I, you know, I'll always take that. And just to get it out of the way, that does have a spray code. It'll be on screen right now. It'll be the first line of the description along with the link to fortnite.com slash redeem just so you can get it. I don't know if it's, you know, a certain amount of people can get it and that's it or anything like that. But in any case, it is there. It exists. I've redeemed it. I've already got it. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's long enough for you guys to have sorted that out. But yeah, the spray is interesting. It's nothing special, but it's free. Can't really complain. The more interesting part is that we've also got a, I guess, a loading screen design. It's hard to really tell for sure. It seems to be the actual creative maps, like, I guess, thumbnail. And it was actually created by Quantum Builds, who I'm going to assume is also the person who, uh, well, the group, making the creative map itself which, once again, creative map will be in the description below. Um, I don't have the code to hand right now, but I'll, I might put it in the edit on screen as well. But yeah, we do have a loading screen, and it's Fishstick being pulled in by Jonesy, and um, I, I can't remember names, but it's the Adventure Time Girl, into the TARDIS. And this is official art, you know? This is official Fortnite X Doctor Who art, and... That just seems so weird to me. Like, it's so out of left field. I wasn't expecting this, at least not so soon. And yeah, it's honestly, in my opinion, really, really cool. It's such a weird thing to be excited for. You know, Doctor Who coming t to Fortnite. Like, what does that matter? But, you know, Doctor Who has been such a big part of my life for a very long time. And obviously Fortnite, you know, as much as I've been a bit low on it the most recent few months i still like the game you know the game's still good i've been playing a little bit more of it just to complete my uh, level 200 because i'm still not level 200 as recording this but uh yeah it's just it's such a weird thing to just have co come and happened out of the blue especially because you know we're only a few days away from the end of the season does this mean that the doctor is going to be in the battle pass potentially we haven't had any other teasers for next season, or well, officially at least, it could be really interesting. And, you know, a lot of people are saying it should be IO versus the Seven for the Battle Pass, and I completely agree. I'd actually rather they stop doing collaborations in the Battle Pass at this point, because we've had one or two, sometimes even more, every single Battle Pass since, what, Chapter 2, Season 2 or 3? I can't remember off the top of my head. Since Deadpool, we've had at least one in every single battle pass and a lot of the time we've had two or three so yeah i'm starting to agree that like maybe the battle pass should remain sacred because we don't get that many original skins now i don't know though it's very interesting to think about and honestly i'm still holding out on one skin that has all you know 12 13 14 15 different styles depending on which doctors they actually cover worst case scenario I'm happy with Jodie, and I know a lot of people aren't. I'm happy enough with getting a Jodie skin alone, nothing else. I'd love a Tenant skin. I'd love a Tom Baker skin. I, it's basically the same as what I said in yesterday's video. They're my doctors, you know, Tom and David. I love both of them in everything they do, Doctor Who or not. And I'd, I'd love them to be represented in Doctor Who. That, that's, just, that's just how it is. If we get some generic Doctor Who outfits worn by defaults, uh, it could be worse. I, you know, it, then it's kind of like cosplay at that point, and it's like it's 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 cool, but uh, 
yeah, really, that is all there is to say. There's not really too much in terms of news when it comes to this. It's very much, you know, we now have official confirmation that Doc 2 is in Fortnite, and that's really it because we don't have anything or anything else official. But uh, in any case, that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Ring the bell if you if you don't want to miss any uploads. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Just wanna take